there's two things that I'm picking up big. One is financial. I feel like there's some disagreements or unfairness or some some sneaky kind of behavior going on around finances, around money, around what's giving and taking in a relationship, uh, some type of money management or money situation. Something's unfair, and I don't know if it's you that's doing it or if someone's doing it to you, but there's an unfairness element to this. Somebody's being sneaky, okay? I feel like somebody um, is telling you, on one hand, they got your back financially, but on the other hand, they don't. There's always an excuse. Maybe you feel like they're not responsible. Um, they're maybe spending their money foolishly. And again, this could be you or this could be the partner. And it doesn't have to be romantic partner. It could be like a business partner where you feel like they spend money foolishly, lavishly, and it's causing uh, financial problems with your business or your arrangement. For some of you, I feel like you're in the process of going through a separation and you may feel that in the month of August, finances are tight. You may feel that your ex-partner or, um, if you're, like I said, in the process of a divorce, your significant other is not helping you uh, maybe with the children, you know, or helping you financially and it's causing some resentment and it's causing a lot of anxiety, you know, sleepless nights, worried about money. I'm, I'm feeling strongly like we're worried about money this month. There's a message here regardless of, you know, what the situation is around money. Um, act with integrity this month and that means basically doing things for the right reasons, right? When nobody's looking, we still do the right thing. I feel like if you try to be sneaky or you try to get away with something, you're going to get caught. And I feel like the I feel like the consequence is ten times worse than the actual act. So just be careful. Don't try to slip anything under anyone's nose, you know, or take anything from anyone under anyone's nose. I feel like that's what you're doing. Um, it's like you see an easy way to take advantage of somebody. And it's not necessarily like terrible, you know, I'm not saying like you're you're gonna uh, I don't know, it could be something as simple as, oh, I'm gonna take twenty bucks out of my girlfriend's purse, you know. And thinking it's okay. I don't think it's okay. I think there's gonna be like a big consequence for that. I think she's gonna be very upset. That's what I'm saying. Like, it doesn't have to be that terrible of a thing, but it's just, just ask first. I think that'll go a long way this month. <laughs> um, for some of you, you may be dealing with a legal situation and money's tight and you're worried about how you're going to pay for the legal fees. I also think that for some of you, I'm getting strongly, there's just something about a home um, uh, worried about uh, repairing a home, worrying about if the repairs are going to be done um, correctly, if you're choosing the right kind of people to work on the repairs, or if you're doing them yourself, if you really trust yourself enough to do the repairs. There's something along those lines too this month. And money may be tight. That's may, that may be why you're trying to do them yourself. There's, okay, there's an obvious blatant message here that I, I, I wanted to do the other uh, messages first um, because this one is just, I mean, it's just speaking right, it's right out in the open. Some of you have found out in the month of July that someone was cheating on you 
and that perhaps this person was taking money. <clears throat> okay, maybe they were um, saying that they were using the money for a different purpose, but they were actually using it to go out with this other person or spend it on this other person. Anyway, you you found that out. Okay, this is a month where you actually take action to leave this person, and I think it may be challenging for you because of you know finances it may be like you live together or whatnot but you need to get away from this person because you understand that this person has I mean there's no going back So let me just clarify some of these cards. I'm going to look at the Nine of Swords first, the overall energy. I think that either you or this other person, whoever is doing the one, whoever is the one doing the giving. Um, I think it's you doing the giving, honestly. I think you're the one giving financially in a relationship or you've been giving in a relationship. Maybe you found out this person was taking advantage financially, they've been cheating, whatever. Or there's someone like a business partner who's been lying. Either way, with the Nine of Swords here, it says, we really thought there was something worth celebrating here. We tried to work on this relationship. Um, and we try to find happiness in this relationship. But the bottom line is, is no matter what we do, um, it's just causing more stress than happiness. There's more cons than pros to this situation. And when it comes to finances, I think some of you may realize you've either spent too lavishly, you know, foolishly, or your partner has, or they're taking advantage of you in that way. That's, let me look at the Three of Cups. That'll clarify a lot. Let's see what the Three of Cups is about. Yeah, there's some communication about a foe. You know, we're understanding now that maybe there is a third party there. We're getting some type of communication, uh, black and white, you know, that there is somebody else there. And the Constellation card is saying, finally, there's maybe clarification or light on this situation because we didn't know for sure. Now we know for sure that there's someone else in the picture. Um, and this could be in the past, too. Like I said, this could be, a, it already happened in July. It doesn't have to be in August, but we're just really dealing with cleaning up the mess in August. Um, let me look at this Justice card. Yeah, there's something that you felt was unfair. Look, the balance is going to be restored. Financial balance, emotional balance, whatever you're going through, I feel like it's going to, you're going to find restoration this month and you're going to find balance. May take some work though. And like I said, whatever you do, practice integrity. Don't be sneaky. Don't make the wrong decision because it's going to lead to even more of this. Okay? So that's what I have for the general reading, Scorpio. Let's look at what's going on regarding love and relationships. There's a card that's falling out here. I have to let it be. The Ten of Swords. Um, I don't typically read my cards upside down. I, I'll see how I feel about this. We'll see what comes out in the spread. 
We have the four of swords. The four of swords, and then we have the knight of cups. The moon. Eight of pentacles. I'm going to say, I don't know, I'm really feeling this kind of sword should be this way. Upside down. Okay. Um, the nine of rods. The high priestess. The fool. Page of pentacles. And the Empress. And at the bottom of the deck, we have your energy, Scorpio, the King of Cups. Can be male or female, but this is your energy. So let me just look over the spread really quickly. Okay, here's a message. <laughs> I feel like for some of you, and this could be for singles or couples, I feel like for some of you, there is somebody that you have either a child with, Or it's somebody that you ultimately see as your wife. I think that there's been a separation. And I think you secretly want to reconnect with this person. However, there is no communication between you and this person. The Ten of Wands, or the Ten of Swords reverse is telling me you haven't really said goodbye. The Ten of Swords upright would tell me this is completely done. This is completely over. There is no going back from this. But because it's reversed, you know, a lot of people will read this like the swords are coming out, you're healing, and maybe so in a way. But I also kind of feel like this is you, like... It's like this card, because it's the Ten of Swords is telling you, look, this is done, buddy. This has been done. But you aren't letting it go. Now, this could be you doing this, or it could be someone doing it to you. Okay? But there's somebody who secretly hasn't let go. And I feel like they don't know how to communicate the secret because there hasn't been communication it's, it's, I mean, we have the moon and the high priestess here. I mean, this is a big secret, right? This is like, oh, I don't know how much longer I can carry this secret, but I don't know how to communicate. You're wanting a new beginning maybe with somebody. The eight of pentacles here, you're wanting to work on your relationship with somebody. Um, I think you find yourself, if you're single, I think you find yourself reflecting on this person and wanting to reconnect. Or they may find themselves now single and wanting to reconnect with you. Either you're the mother of their children or um, if you're the male, this is you feeling this way about the mother of your children. So let's let's clarify this. Um, but first, you know what? Let me. I'm sorry. Let me look at what's going on for singles too. Um, like I said, that can apply for singles and couples. I mean, it could be someone who's already in a committed relationship and they're feeling that way about somebody else. Or it can be that you're having problems in your relationship and you haven't really communicated with one another, and you're not getting over whatever happened in the past. And it's like we need to talk. We need to get it all out. I need to communicate. I can't carry this burden anymore. We need to work on our relationship. You're wanting a fresh start with that person. 
Um, but if you're not in a relationship, like I said, it could just be somebody that, you know, hey, I have, I have feelings for you. If you haven't talked, I'm not sure how you're going to take what I have to say, but this is how I feel. And I feel strongly has to do with a mother, either the mother of your children, or you're the mother of their children, or something like that. Something's telling me to look at the King of Cups, so I'm going to pull some clarifying cards on the King of Cups first, and then we'll see when other messages come through. I want to look at those Ten of Swords, too, reversed. So on the King of Cups, okay, okay. It can be saying that you, dear Scorpio, maybe in the past you've acted too cocky or arrogant around this person, or you didn't, you, you took them for granted, and now you're wanting them back. And it could also be that they're feeling that way about you, okay? Understanding this is a blessed thing, is a fortunate thing. Gaining clarity on this relationship for you, I feel it's, it is a blessing. It's telling you that, you know, you can be highly fickle when it comes to, you know, what kind of a... Uh, I want to say emotionally fickle. Um, things upset you easily. Maybe this person upset you in the past. But it's now getting over that and and appreciating what value they did bring into your life, getting over your own ego. Um, and like I said, this could be vice versa too. Okay? But it's coming up on the King of Cups, so I feel like for a lot of you, this is you coming to a realization that you loved somebody significant, wanting to return to that relationship. So let's look at the Empress. Yeah, look, this is somebody that you thought you had a long-term future with in the past, but it ended. There was an ending to this relationship. Now we have the Lord here, which is a confident man, but this is a secure and stable man. This is a man who knows what he wants. So I feel like this has ended in the past, but now you're realizing this is what I really want with this person. Whoever this person is for you. Whether you are that person or somebody, you know, you feel that way about somebody else. 